What's up everybody, King of Fumble here coming at you with your daily crypto update. Today we're going to be talking about Step App yet again. I'm going to give you guys my full preview on how this thing works. I really did a deep dive into the inner workings of this and I want to explain it to you guys in a simple way so you don't have to look through the entire website yourself. Now full disclosure here guys, there there's a lot of questions that are up in the air with Step App. They only have a light paper out right, right now. Uh, so soon, like within the next couple of weeks or month or so, uh, they should be releasing a white paper. And at that time, the details will be much more clear and you guys can look for a review of the Step app so you guys can understand exactly how it works. But right now we're on the speculative side, so let's get straight into it and I'm going to explain to you guys kind of what uh, is all going on here with the Step app. So the first thing that we can start with is we can t we can talk about the uh, Step App token. If you guys are unfamiliar with what Step App is, it's a competitor to GMT or Stepin, which is on Solana. Step App is on uh, the Avalanche blockchain. Now, if you guys don't really know what move to earn tokens are, I'll try to explain it in a way that everyone gets a lot out of this. But if you already know kind of what GMT does, then you'll have a leg up on understanding kind of what this thing is all about. Uh, so like I said before, Step App is a move to earn platform. What that means is you can walk around in real life and attached to this app on your phone and you know your wallet and your tokens and your NFTs in here and you can actually earn money from doing that, from walking around in real life. That's how the move to move to earn tokens work. Now with, with Step App, there's a lot of different tokens involved in this and I think it's slightly different and a little more complicated than the Stepin token over there on GMT. Uh, however, they do uh, borrow a lot, a generous amount from GMT. You'll see that a lot of the features here are, are almost exactly the same with different names. So first, let's talk about the tokens associated with Step App. The first token that you'll kind of you probably might already know about is FitFi. So FitFi is currently on sale right now. You can purchase this on multiple different exchanges. It's currently valued at about 57 cents. Launched a few days ago on April 26th. Uh, had a pretty much all time low of 18 cents. So it's already going up significantly. A lot of people are anticipating that this token is going to be useful and you know do similar things to what GMT did. And we'll talk about kind of what that token does next. So FitFi is going to be used for staking. That's what the website says. It's gonna be used for staking and for governance. Uh, so the staking part of it is not 100% clear to me. Uh, so we can kind of learn more about that when the white paper does come out. But these are some screenshots that I took from the website uh, that kind of explain what the FitFi token is going to do right here. You can see that it talks about uh, stake by you this amount of FitFi. So the way that it's explained at least on this page, again not really explained too much in the white paper or light paper, but it says uh, you can use these staked FitFi tokens to get what's called drop tickets. Not really sure what those are, but I can speculate here. Uh, you can use your tickets to participate in NFT drop events and every event will reveal a unique collection. So I'm assuming what you're going to be doing is you're going to be getting something called points and drop tickets from staking the FitFi token, which again, people can buy right now. And I think that this is going to be one of the first ways that you can get the Sneaks NFT to actually play the game. Uh, so the NFT is going to be required to do anything within the ecosystem. And just like with GMT and Stepin, they're quite rare to get, or at least the tickets to, to start the game are quite rare to get. Uh, so these are going to be highly sought after. And I think it's one of the reasons why the Step App price, the FitFi token, is uh, up, up so much. Because people are anticipating they're going to need it to start the game. All right, so moving on from there, the next token that we have in the ecosystem is called KCAL. So there's FitFi and then there's KCAL. KCAL is the in-game token. So that's kind of what you're going to be earning from playing the game, at least as far as what I can understand from here so far. KCAL is what you're going to also be using to buy sneaks once the game gets rolled out and those first initial sneaks are rolled out, I think, with the FitFi token. Uh, to get 
kcal tokens you need to actually do real life walking running jogging when you have your staked sneaks so you stake your sneaks you walk around run around jog around in real life and you're going to be earning kcal from doing that now the mechanics of exactly how that's going to work will be released for the white paper again i'll do another review once that comes out but that's the gist of it all right uh so the next token that's going to be available is called fat uh, so fat again is a little nebulous i'm not entirely sure what this token does uh, but from what i've gathered there's two ways that you can earn fat one is it could be auto earned automatically if you have staked sneaks and the second way is through referrals this is kind of what I gathered from this screenshot from the website. This talks a little bit about fat. It talks about how you have some fat from referrals and fat. You're getting five fat for per day from just having it in this wallet. So it says kind of exactly how much fat you're getting. And this little graphic talks a little bit about it. Collect fat points every day. Again, not sure how. Uh, invite referrals and collect more fat points. And over here it says you can convert your fat to kcal by burning fitfi and i think i wrote that somewhere on here maybe i erased it uh so yeah oh it's right here so you can convert your fat to kcal by burning fitfi again all these tokens are sort of working together uh, we'll see if it actually works out nicely i think again gmt or gm yeah gmt and the step in token have similar um mechanics with with their they have their their GST and a few other things, but I think there's like one extra token here, which is why I'm a little confused about how all these things work together. But again, we'll see when the white paper comes out. Some other things to note here that I came out up with from viewing the website is they seem to will they seem to be having their own self own NFT marketplace. So it doesn't seem like they're going to be offering the sneaks over there on OpenSea or on um, you know Avalanche's OpenSea version and the NFT trade. Uh, I think they're going to have their own marketplace. That's, uh, that's what it seems like right here. It says on 2.1, NFT marketplace, a 2.5% fee applies on all NFT trades and on the in-app NFT marketplace. So that's kind of what I gathered from that. And this also talks about some other things that they're going to be doing in the system. So within the app. You can do staked play, tournament gaming, microtransactions, and it explains a little bit how that works. Again, I'll do the full review of that once the white paper comes out uh, because I, I really want to understand more about how that works. But it seems like to me, again, very similar to GMT, they will have their own app that does everything in app um, to play the game. And then uh, we have two more graphics to kind of go through here. This is just some screenshots that I pulled from the website that gives you a little bit of an idea of what the app might look like. Uh, again, looks like they have their own marketplace on their app right here with their different types of sneaks available. And this is where things get eerily similar to the GMT token. These sneaks do have levels that you have to level up. They, current, they cost a certain amount of Avalanche tokens, which wasn't mentioned anywhere, anywhere in the white paper. I'm not sure. Uh, I guess you can buy them with Avalanche tokens, but that was sort of unclear. I thought they were using FitFi to do that. Uh, and then over here, it talks a little bit more about it. You, how, you have different types of sneaks, trainers, um, and I'm assuming other types as well. But it says over here with the trainer, you have to walk a speed of four to six kilometers per hour, and you're going to be getting 1.25x the amount of tokens. And I'm assuming there are other types of sneaks will require you to uh, be moving faster or slower, just like with the GMT. Again, heavily borrowed from that. Uh, and then it looks like they have their basic screen right here, which is telling you what you're doing. Um, I'm not sure what this plus 0.32 AVAX is. This might be how much you're earning, the time that you've been walking or running, the amount of uh, space that you've been walking and running, the steps that you've taken. And then there's this other mechanic here, again, heavily borrowed from GMT, uh, this energy. They didn't explain that in the light paper, but I'm assuming it's going to be required for you to uh, do anything with earning with your sneaks. Very similar, again, like I said, with GMT. And then finally, we can talk about uh, price predictions. Uh, now, full disclosure here, guys, um, I, I have been wrong about pretty much everything that I've talked about for the past year. <laughs> so uh, I usually err on the side of extreme optimism uh, with this stuff. And you know, as long as you're right once, that's really all that it takes. But 
that's neither here nor there, but we can talk about the optimistic side of Step App. Uh, a lot of people saying it being a competitor to GMT. Well, what will the price of the FitFi token be if it does really compete with GMT and gets to the same level? GMT currently have, has a market cap of $2.1 billion sitting at, um, I don't know what the price of GMT is right, right here, uh, but Anyway, if, if FitFi was, was to have a, I think GMT is close to about $3 and something cents. Um, but if, if FitFi were to have an e equivalent market cap to GMT, uh, that would put FitFi's potential price at $12.39 with the current circulating supply. And um, that's going to be a 20x potential upside from where we're at right now. So. That's something that you can kind of speculate about. Does this thing have the potential to compete with GMT? Uh, well, of course, there's a lot of ifs in there. We have to see a lot of things work out in the favor of FitFi uh, in general. Uh, so we'll see over the next couple of weeks as they roll out their app if this thing really is going to be a true competitor uh, and you know potentially become a 20x token from where it is right now. Maybe it will be a semi-competitor, maybe not at the same level of GMT. We could see a 10x from where we're at right now, or it could be a total flop, and it could go down significantly in price if things just don't end up working for, uh, for a step app. A lot of possibilities, but again, with high risk comes high reward. And a lot of people that are purchasing that FitFi token right now are banking on the fact that it's going to be uh, somewhat competitive with GMT, which could see a, an upward potential of 20x. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys kind of learned a little bit more about this token. I tried to boil it down to just the simple uh, facts about what this token is and kind of the... the there's a lot of fluff on the website, but of course I do recommend you guys do look through that website, look through their Twitter, look through their Discord to really understand everything Step App has to offer, especially the next couple days as they're coming out with more news on a daily basis. Now if you guys haven't yet, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe, and comment below if you have any corrections or anything like that that you want to tell me in the comments section. Uh, additionally, if you are a patron or if you want to become a Patreon, I'm going to be doing a fat airdrop for the zombie token. You guys can go back in my videos and look at what the zombie token is uh, right after this video. Um, I gave people a chance to drop their addresses in my Patreon comments section. So if you did drop your address and you're eligible and all things like that, I will be doing that fat zombie airdrop right after this video uh, off camera. But you should have your stuff in your wallet by the time this video is, is you're watching this video. All right, guys, that is everything for today. Catch you in the next video. Peace out.